Hello and welcome to the first day of the vlog. Your eyes are not deceiving you. I am wearing a swimsuit. It is time. Let's do our first swimsuit haul. This is Cup She, no surprise. I haul Cup She all the time. They do incredible plus size, like actual plus size. The quality is amazing. I wash and dry and wear them all the time. I have an entire tote of Cup She swimsuits that I love that I'm not willing to part ways with. So let's do a little bit of a haul. Think about spring break. Maybe you have some sort of trips coming up to tropical places. As always, I have a discount code with Cupshe. Taryn15 will save you a little bit of money at checkout. This part of the vlog is sponsored by Cupshe, so thank you to them. I have four swimsuits, by the way. This one is my favorite. That's why I put it on first, like the black and the white and the solid bottom. This is like a ruched, I think they call it their sculpt, like slim sculpt line, and it is definite compression. Everything I'm wearing, by the way, is in a size 2X. Has removable pads. I love this like checkeredy looking but floral print at the top. The thicker adjustable straps in the back. This is just such a beautiful basic black. I say basic in the best way possible because the style of this, like the fit, is so nice you are getting my favorite right off the bat but that's what we do around here you know what i mean like if this is the one i like the best i try to pick suits as well that i like but that i think that you'll like so i have two one pieces i have a tankini and then i have like a shorter tankini style top if you like a little bit of skin showing i feel like this is a good start for swimsuits like everything about this 10 out of 10. the fit is so nice and again that compression with the ruching swimsuit number two is the shorter tankini top the paisley pattern in this turquoise color is such a beautiful shade of like blue green the bottoms i love the most which is surprising because the top is really pretty don't get me wrong but these are like my ideal high-waisted bottoms they're high like above my belly button by an inch they have ruching they're not too cheeky in the back like this overall is such a comfortable suit. So you do have removable pads. It's a strap. However, the strap ties in the back. So it is adjustable to give you a little bit more lift or compression if that's what you're looking for. Just tie it according to your preferences. And this is so pretty. This was my initial favorite. When the box showed up and I put every single swimsuit on because I just get excited, this was my initial favorite. And I'm not saying it's not a favorite. I'm saying they're all favorites. But if I had to pick a favorite favorite, the first black one is just so pretty. I do have another pair of bottoms that actually go with the other tankini top. However, I think that they're such a pretty color, they would match this as well. So let's mix and match those with this top first, and then we'll put the actual top that goes with it on. See, I thought the pink would be a nice like color mix match type look, if that's your thing. This is obviously a very different fit than the other bottom, but I like to show different things. Again, I want to appease everyone. I want to make sure that I have something that you personally would wear or that you want to wear or that you like. So these are more of like a mid, I would call them mid-rise, a little bit lower than my belly button, just a flat pink. There's no ruching or anything, but they're not super cheeky on the back. And I liked the idea, again, of like the mix match colors if that's your thing. Then we have this tankini. This is more of a molded padded cup. You cannot remove the padding, but I like the look of like the molded cup. You've got a little bit of boning on the side here to hold it up, adjustable, super thick straps. That's something that I like about Cupshe is they do a really great job of the thicker straps that will actually hold you up that are adjustable. This is a really pretty like mauve pinky type color. You've got the split here. I'm just wearing those same pink bottoms. But this is if you like a longer tankini type top. This would be really cute as well with um, like so throw on some like gauzy type beach shorts with this. And then you've got a cute, oh, we're just going to lunch. Oh, we're just going shopping. But you've You've still got the really cute top. Here's a better look at the back, by the way. I really love this color on my skin tone. It's good, right? So this was my second favorite that I mentioned in the very beginning, that first one piece and then this one. Something about the navy with the same like slim sculpt. I'm pretty sure that's what they call it. It's something sculpt slim kind of thing, meaning it's got extra compression in it. Then you've got this ruching. Like something about the silhouette, the ruffle, the removable pads. Again, I can't say enough about the thicker adjustable straps. Like the fit of this is incredible. And I do think this one would be so cute as well with some denim like high-waisted shorts. And then you just 
lollygag about town with your beach bag, a hat, some big sunglasses. I just, I don't know. Is this one my favorite? I, I know I said that throughout the whole video. Is this one my favorite? Is this one my favorite? But be honest, I'm telling myself that, to be honest, that this one is just so like frilly with the ruffles. And then I, I like a deep V. Here's a proper look at the back. Not too cheeky on this one either. I did put on a fake tan for this. I just felt like it would make me feel a little bit more like it wasn't 60 degrees and dreary and like muggy outside. Also to be fair, I do have a spring break trip coming up. There is a need for at least a couple of swimsuits coming with me. So just get ready for the pictures at this like incredible pool. Like this house that we've booked is just like, it's incredible. Just get ready for the swimsuit pictures at the pool because this, this will be one of them. Just you're, you're getting a head start now in February, just wait until April because you will see me just like laid out at the pool. I hope you enjoyed this little sponsored portion from Cupshe. Thank you to them for sending over these four incredible swimsuits. I have an entire tote. Did I say that already? An entire tote of swimsuits from Cupshe because they wash well, they wear well, like wash and dry, and I wear them so often. It's such great quality for such a low price in my opinion. So thank you to them for sponsoring this. Don't forget the discount code, Taryn15. will save you a little bit of money at checkout. I will link these directly for you. You can use the code as well on anything, not just the swimsuits that you see here or that I show or that I link or whatever. It's good for the whole website. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a good time. Like I am ready for swimsuits. Maybe not to wear them out of my house. I'm ready to stand here and my swimsuit. So anyway, that's a wrap on this portion. Let's continue on with the vlog. We have some fun things happening. I can't get over this one. It's my favorite, right? Is the light too bright? Because listen, I can't even look up because it's so bright. Um, but without it, it's very dark in here. I just did my skincare. Well, not just. It's been probably a couple of hours, but I love like this glowy look. So happy Saturday. By the way, it is lunchtime. I've just been lounging, doing work on my computer. Let's do a little bit of lunch. I almost mentioned Factor in last week's vlog, but I hadn't actually tried any of the meals yet, so I didn't mention it. This is my third and final meal of the set that I ordered. I actually, I think the minimum amount you can get is four, which I did, and then something was out of stock, so I didn't get it. But anyway, this is what we're doing today for lunch, Fusili. Is that how you say that? Fusilli and ground pork tomato ragu. Factor, it's a little bit pricey for home like meals like this, but it's not any more expensive. It's actually less expensive than if you were to go out to eat. But the two that I've had so far have been so good. I'll put little pictures here. I had like a shredded chicken taco bowl. It literally tasted it was so fresh and you pop it in the microwave for two minutes. The only problem with this one is that my little extra sauce, like creamy type sauce was broken and had spilled. So I didn't get to try that. And then I had like a patty, some kind of peppers and patty with zucchini type thing. So good. Today we're gonna try this one together. I bought all these myself. Actually, I skipped this week. Let me pop this in the microwave, hang on. Here's what it looks like first before I even heat it up. Sorry if the microwave is distracting. It says two minutes, I do it for two minutes and 30 seconds. So how it works is every single week, they send you however many meals you've selected, which mine is four, unless you skip. So I skipped this week only because these hadn't, wouldn't have arrived and had, I would have had time to try them before the next week shipped. And what if I didn't like them? So I did skip this week and I'm kind of disappointed in myself for that because they are really good and they're easy lunches. But for the following week, yes. So you're watching this on Thursday. So on Tuesday, I'm getting some more delivered. Um, and I went through and like rated these so far. Anyway, they're good. If you need like easy lunches, they're really good. Got about 40 seconds. Took a swig of this Diet Coke. Do y'all remember when I showed that dry bar, the mini blow dryer that caught fire? Okay. I took it back. I'd had it for too long to get my money back. It was $140, which is ridiculous. I did get it on sale for $100, okay? Like, that's kind of ridiculous. I bought it because everybody talked about how great it was. Um, and I had it for almost three months, and it caught fire. Ulta's, like, policy for returns is 60 days. So I got a store credit. That's the whole point of me telling you this. 
I got a store credit, hang on. I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute and then we'll put it in a bowl. But today I went online because I was gonna order some shampoo and some more of the Clinique makeup removing balm. But my little card they gave me is not actually like a gift card. I can only use it in store. But in store, for some reason when I ask about my points, I only have like two or three dollars of points and stuff. But online, I had like $55 in points. Why is it different? Is it different in store than online? It smells incredible. You can pick too, like what your goals are. If you're, you know, looking for more protein or, you know, whatever the case may be. All right, there it is. Let's see the pasta with a little bit of meat. That's good. One of these. I am going to add a little bit of salt to that. All right, I'm impressed. I wanted to give y'all a true unsponsored opinion because every single post that I've seen about Factor has been sponsored. Um, and they, they're not wrong. I'm telling you right now, they're not wrong. But I just wanted to try it for myself. And it's good. I like it. All right, that's it. I'm going to watch a little Netflix documentary. If you have any good ones, drop them down below. I mean, I'll see you tonight. I laid out some ground beef for supper. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I think I'd like to do maybe some like hamburger patties with gravy. I have some rice. Like I have all the things for that. I'll see you tonight. Hi, welcome to supper. I'm not doing the hamburger patties. I found everything to make nachos. Okay, so you saw the meat going. We have a can of corn, black beans. I have one little packet of taco seasoning, a brand new pack of cheese, and then we have some leftover like scoops chips. So that's what we're doing for supper. I just drained my meat, so let's do a little bit of corn. I'm not gonna do the whole can. Let's do, oh, I did pretty much most of it. That's about a third or three-fourths of the can. Same for the beans. Yeah, that's probably enough. That's about a little more than half of the can. We have our taco seasoning and then a little bit of water. Mix it all together. Just let it simmer. I don't know why I'm instructing you on how to do this. I feel like this is common knowledge. <laughs> Let's plate it. We have some chips, some cheese. I'm trying to do this with my left hand because I'm holding you with my right hand. We're going to put cheese on top too. Don't worry. Meat mixture and then a little bit more cheese. There we go. That's what's for supper. Hello, good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm curling my hair. I've been straightening it a lot lately and I do like it, but for anyone that straightens versus curls their hair, you know the curl, it just holds much longer. Oh, I also did, hang on. I bought a new blow dryer. This is the Revlon Airflow Control Dryer. So I showed y'all a couple vlogs ago. At this point, it was the Brian's birthday vlog that my dry bar, the little mini like yellow one, not really caught fire, but it was like smoking really bad. Did we talk about this already? We did, we did. This is the new one that I bought. How cool, it does have a diffuser, but you can rotate it and then lock it. This way is really nice for like brushing and blow drying like this. And then this is nice for, anyway. I liked it. I thought it was cute. So today, on Tuesday, Candace and I are hanging out again. We're going to do a little bit of work, but also I want to take some pictures and some outfits. So I've been trying to go through my closet and really figure out what I want to wear because we found this really cute, like, standalone, like, taco stand, but it's, like, permanent. It's not like a, it might be a truck, but it's a permanent, like, they've got little uh, picnic tables and stuff out front and so I wanted to take some pictures there we're gonna eat lunch there by the way but I wanted to take some pictures there so I was trying to find like a cute outdoorsy colorful type outfit because it's gonna be warm today I don't know I feel like everything I have y'all have seen because I do hauls or like Instagram reels and stuff with it so anyway, that's the plan for today. Right now, I am curling my hair. I'm gonna try to curl it. Oh, I thought I didn't turn it on. A little bit, like smaller sections and maybe it won't be so big. That's the plan. Um, but I did pull some clothes. She's on her way over here right now. I wanted to show her what I had before I steamed it. Oh, I have an Instagram reel to post today. I found the cutest, I'll put the little video here video with the Abercrombie jeans and white top outfit. So cute. So I need to post that, but all right, that's it. That's the plan. I'll show you the outfits that I've picked out. 
and hopefully they work. I don't know if the smaller section curl was the way to go. I haven't brushed it out yet. I'm about to put some makeup on my face, but hopefully it brushes out cute. These are the few things I pulled from my closet. The American Eagle jeans. We know they're phenomenal. Y'all know I love bright things in the cooler weather. So I have this top from Target that I thought could be cute with the jeans. The last time Candace and I, which was just last week, went to the outlets, I saw a girl wearing this dress and it looked cute. And I thought, I have that dress. So maybe we can do something fun with that. And then I pulled these two little crochet cropped cardigans. Oh, I need to cut the strings from Cider because I thought maybe we could do something with that. So here's the options. I don't love what I've got pulled so far, but Candace is on her way. So maybe she can help me decide. I don't think that I should let these curls sit because that's just gonna, like the curl will hold longer. So let's brush them out. Okay. Okay, maybe we do a middle part. Y'all, I don't know. I've literally done nothing different to my lashes. Tell me why today they look incredible. I haven't been using any serums, like serums, serums, <laughs> like nothing. Why do they look so good? I've been using the Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara, but that's been a while. And then I just curl them, two coats, and then kind of push them up as they dry to hold. I like my makeup today too. Here's the hair brushed out. You know, it just, it is what it is. Hello, welcome back. Oh, I can't turn it enough. Can you get in it please? Hello. Okay, Hello. so it is now almost one o'clock. We have just now made it to, what's it called? Taco Fiesta. Taco Fiesta, street tacos. This place we wanted to come to the last couple times we've been out this way, but we forget. Like until every we're coming back. Yeah, yeah, until we see it and we're coming back. Not After today. We've already eaten lunch. Oh, I need to. This is This is, this is a tiny parking yeah. lot. Let me turn y'all around. Here's this tiny parking lot. Taco place is to your right? right. Or is it flipped for them? Is it to the left? It's where that truck's coming out. Yeah, it's where the truck's coming out it's of. It's trying to come out of. Um, but we're trying to find a parking spot people so that we can. People are being jerky jerks. To those people right there? Yeah. Like, get out of the way so he can back out. Don't be a jerky jerk. Don't be a jerky jerk. Look, just squeeze Look. right there. Yeah. Got it. We got one. We're hoping there's a. Oh. Okay. I'm hoping there's a bathroom in here. Candace got problems with coffee. I don't know why you say Candace like you're not the one. Wow. Well, also. I'm not. Not today, anyways. Okay, we got a spot. Let's rock and roll. Look at Candace's shirt, by the way. It's so colorful and so cute. Hello. Inception. Okay, let's go eat. I can't find the sunglasses I want, so we're getting these. All right, let me show you what this little place looks like. Oh, yeah. Okay, you order here. How cute. And then you can sit inside or outside. Are you going to be okay? We're somewhere different now. The bathrooms were not up to par. For anybody, not just Candace. Um, so now we're at a different Mexican establishment. We're at the Cactus Cantina. I think this is more what we were wanting. Can we talk about it? <laughs> Hi, how are you ladies? Hi, good. Two, please. Two. Alrighty. Hello, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I realized that yesterday I didn't show you anything else. We went into Cactus Cantina, ate food. It was okay. We were supposed to get one. I think kind of out in my part of town and then for some reason it changed to like a different Mexican restaurant so um anyway it was okay whatever so then we went on I did end up filming okay I went inside forever 21 trying to film and it would have been a great video they had so much stuff but none of it was plus size so I rerouted and ended up filming at the gap the gap factory because it's the outlet store and I tried on I'll put a picture here I tried on this sweatsuit the logo sweatsuit it came in so many colors but this like navy gorgeous loved everything about it and so I, I wanted to buy it but do I need it no however I'm like talking myself into it now I do wear that tan Nike set that I got from Kohl's so much that I thought it'd be nice to have like a second option to wear 
Um, I didn't buy it in store because it was still a little bit pricey even with the discounts. But last night, I was going online trying to find links and like the little screenshots I put in my videos of the item on the websites and stuff. And it was so much cheaper, even additional discounts online. And then I found a discount code for like an extra 10% off or something. So I bought it. Each piece ended up being 22 bucks. So 22 bucks for the hoodie, 22 bucks for the joggers. Um, and then my discount code, basically it was like free shipping, uh, but I did buy it. So I'll link it for you because you're watching this before that video goes up. And it was the cutest, like that was my favorite thing from the whole video. Um, so we did that, came home, I, I did nothing fun. Today, this morning, I'm in traffic on the interstate trying to go through the tunnel to go across the bay to Daphne for another micro needling treatment. I, if y'all don't, if y'all remember, Brian bought me two treatments for Christmas. It was like a buy one, get one free deal they were doing. And so he bought them for me for Christmas, which is, the best gift ever. So I've done one already and this is the second one. So I'm bare faced. I do. I did wash my face and put on moisturizer this morning, but she's going to wipe it all off anyways. Last time I did, I did a peel, which was like a spot peel for some of like these little lines and stuff I have. I don't know if I'm doing that again. She said we would talk about it. It was kind of expensive, but I need to ask her what I, sh what to expect from it. Like, is it you do it several times and see results or kind of thing? So, anyway, that's what we're doing this morning. I feel like y'all already know what that looks like because we've done this so many times and I made like a little Instagram reel of what it looks like. I'll link it down below if you want to watch. Um, but this is what I look like before. I will be red as I'll get out when I get out of there. So, okay, that's it. I'll see you when I'm done. And just like that, we are done. Here's the after. I told y'all it was gonna look a little crazy. It was gonna look a little crazy. Um, we did the peel again. So she said basically it just kind of, not really smooths out all the way, the forehead lines, but it kind of makes them a little bit less harsh. Last time she said she did it very light because she wasn't sure. Like you wanna make sure your skin's gonna be good. And my skin was good. So she said she did it a little bit more she did a little bit more this time also brightening and lightening some of the spots on my face was the goal so she kind of went in on some of those sunspots and i appreciate that i'm going back in six or seven weeks i'm not on like a certain regimen it's just trying to maintain my skin at this point so every like couple months i'll go in and get another one and we'll kind of focus on little areas and stuff but that's that let's go home and put on a face mask i did go pick up some groceries on the ride home so i'm ready to make lunch it's like 11 o'clock first thing we do is this little face mask and then there's a few steps again we've done this together before let me double check though because you know sometimes even though i think i know what i'm supposed to do i'm not all the way correct day of treatment mask is to be applied as soon as possible or upon arriving home these feel so good last time i ripped it by accident did i show you all that i'm pretty sure that i did like it's supposed to hook around your ears i accidentally ripped it and it wouldn't hook oh i remember now because i said if i have to struggle y'all can watch me struggle okay cash is in there rolling around on the bed and then these are supposed to go up oh that feels so good already okay so we'll do one ear and then this was the problem. Oh, I think my face is too big. It went one time. Let me pull my ear. My, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> pull my ear to it is more helpful. Okay. I'm going to set alarm for 15 to 30 minutes. Then I'll see you a little bit later. I'll give you a little skin update. It is the next morning. I wanted to show you my face. Like once I woke up, did my like teensy bit of skincare that they allow you to do before I ended the vlog. Okay, let me get in good light. I think this is the best <laughs> lighting that we're gonna get. My neck is still a little bit red, but I kind of slept a little bit like in a ball last night. So I feel like I didn't get a ton of air to my neck. Um, but anyway, here's what my face looks like. It looks pretty good. Sarah said that the peak time is 10 days after. So I started a little TikTok. Um, I guess I could post it to Instagram Reels too just showing some things talking about some things and we'll end it 10 days out but i feel pretty good i feel like it looks pretty good she did do again the little bit of 
peel type stuff on my forehead. Just some of these lines here. And then that one there. I guess I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget about swimsuits. I'm so excited for swimsuit season. Everything is linked down below. Thank you to Cupshe for sponsoring a part of this video. Also the discount code Taryn15 for 15% off, but Friday 20 will save you a little bit more if you're spending a little bit more money. Again, all of that information is down below. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching this week's vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Next week, what do we have? It's Valentine's Day. We need to do a little bit of shopping, so we'll do that together. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.